Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, just finished up at the gym this morning. It's, uh, if you followed me last week, it's been about, actually, I guess exactly a week as of yesterday that we went down to Atlanta and we got the motor back. So I've actually had to work the last seven days straight. Um, so this is my first opportunity to uh, get out in the garage and spend more than just 30 minutes to an hour on something. So um, the goal today, I've actually got a few buddies coming over, uh, buddy Kyle, Chad, uh, Jason should show up later. Um, the goal is to get the transmission onto the motor and the motor bolted into the car. I think we can do it pretty easily, um, especially with having that many hands around to help me out with it. So uh, there's a few small details we have to straighten out. Kyle had a press at his house, so he put my new throwout bearing on the clutch sleeve. So we're going to put that on the transmission. Um, we're going to unpack that Exeti twin disc clutch, get that all bolted and torque spec'd uh, onto the motor and bolt the bell housing on. And then we should be able to just get that thing in hit the transmission mounts, motor mounts, and we're good. And then we'll be able to slowly take our time uh, over the next, you know, ah, uh, you don't really don't know. I've been thinking about how long I'm gonna take to get everything reconnected and plumbed. I've got some fuel lines to plumb uh, for the return and just taking my time because this is obviously the first time I've had the motor completely out of the car and uh, wanna make sure I don't miss anything. So um, I'm gonna just take my time on that, but of course I'll document through all that. And uh, hopefully by the end of this video, we will have the motor in the car. Let's get started. All right, Chad's working on some stuff. What's this for? This is a RAM mount um, for my Forerunner so I can have my iPad swiveled over and set up um, in my front seat when Sweet. I'm driving. Cool, so Chad's working on some stuff. We are in the middle of getting stuff going for the motor, but we encountered a problem. So a buddy Kyle came over cause he has a press at his house to press the throw out bearing onto the clutch sleeve. But when we did this, so here's a, here's a look at what that is. So this is what came out of the transmission here. And it's mostly new. I put a new transmission in the car in like 2013. So there's not that many miles on it, but while it's apart, I wanted to get a new throw out bearing and a new clutch sleeve. Well, this is a press fitting. So you have to put this in a hydraulic press and put it together. Well, when he went to do that with some of the, uh, newer parts that I ordered, um, it literally, like you could push it on with his hands. So for looking at it closely, it looked like that coil bearing was a little bit oblong. So uh, we called a local Napa parts store and they actually have one they can get today that'll come in this afternoon, but he thinks he may have one at his house. So he ran out to go see if he's got it. So uh, that's the current status. Just put the motor mounts on, back on the car. So the Z1 poly mounts. So we put those on and I'm going to dig out the CJ Motorsports uh, fuel line, and that will go basically in replace at this connection right here. So we'll pop this stock fuel line out, and we'll put the CJ in, uh, just so because I don't want to have to get in there and fight that space once the motor's uh, back installed here. So we'll do that in uh, the next couple All minutes. Right. So another quick update: while I was filming the last part, I got a text from Kyle, and uh, Kyle's a big uh, Z fan, and he just swapped a. Uh, v8 into his 300zx so he's like i think i have one of those in my house a throwout bearing so i literally got this text message it said jackpot hopefully that's in focus a little bit so he actually has one so hopefully that will press right on just fine like it's supposed to on the sleeve that i have and uh, we'll be in business so we're not going to be wasting the whole day i was a little worried we'd uh, had the whole day of a wash because you don't have the right part bolt the transmission on you don't want to drop the motor in so Good to go. All right, guys, so we got the fuel line installed. Let's check it out. So we got this guy, the adapter installed, put a little blue Loctite on this back end is what they recommended, and got the uh, AN line installed. Clear that bolt just a little bit, and then this line here, eventually we'll, we'll adjust this and get it set to where it um, bolts to the back of uh, the uh, passenger side fuel rail. All right, guys, we've gotten everything arranged, getting the uh, stand ready. Breaking the, the uh, clutch apart, we're gonna set this down and get the flywheel out and torque the flywheel down. Jason's here. Woo! Phew! All right, so got the uh, clutch bolted up, had the alignment tool in here, got the flywheel bolts torqued, pressure plate torqued, and got the crank uh, sensor installed, and we're about to put the bell housing on. Probably loud in here because of the fan. Here's the boys. We had to fight this bell housing for a while. So it took about four or five tries, but 
We got it and we're gonna try to get it all back in the car now. All right guys, it is the end of the day. It's been a long day. Chad over here got us some awesome uh, time-lapse videos. Uh, it took a little bit longer to actually get the bell housing and transmission bolted up to the motor with the setup that we had. It's just kind of a pain with just getting it aligned. Uh, clutch tool worked good, clutch got bolted in fine, um, but tried probably what, eight, nine times at least. <laughs> yeah, it took a little while. so. But we got it on there. You'll see that in time lapse video. Uh, but we have the motor in. Here it is. Right there. Hit another snag a little bit. I didn't record much uh, once we got everything bolted in. But uh, my parents actually stopped by. My dad is a electrical engineer and has a lot of patience for things like that. And towards the end, somehow we had gotten the the harness kind of rotated the wrong way because. Um, Installing this there's a connection back near the shifting linkage that is really really hard to get to and disconnect So we actually when we pulled the motor um, We disconnected that at the last second so we plugged that in going in but weren't really paying attention to uh, The harness but it all got sorted out. Everything's basically in its place coil packs are bolted in clipped in um, VTC solenoids everything's kind of hanging ready to bolt the accessories on so down here you can even see it got a brand new starter back here and all the accessories are going to be new on the motor as well so um if that's something that you're going to be doing if you're going to be pulling the motor on an older car this is a 2003 so uh, nothing was broken on the accessories but you just don't want to put 18 year old accessories back in your car so um until the next time we'll be piecing things together we're waiting on the differential from z1 um and hopefully i'm probably going to do the accessories bolted on next i could probably get that done in the next couple days and then we're gonna start getting this turbo kit put on. So we'll see you then.